In this video, we're going to look at questions number 50 through 53 from your final exam review. In questions 50 and 51, we're being asked to use synthetic division uh, to determine the quotient. And we've got a polynomial uh, here being divided by a binomial. So remember with synthetic division, first of all, over here on the side in a, in a box, we put whatever value of x makes the uh, binomial equal to zero. And so in this case, that's going to be a positive 2. Then uh, we want to list the coefficients um, of the terms in our polynomial. But notice, if you look at the exponents of our terms, I've got a power of 4, and then it skips to a power of 2. We've skipped over um, x cubed here. And so when we write our coefficients, I'm going to put 3 for the x to the fourth term, but then I need to put a 0 there for the x cubed term. Negative 2x squared, 5x, and then minus 4 on the end. Alright, now the process for synthetic division, the first number, remember, we're going to add down, and so 3 plus nothing, that equals 3, and then we're going to multiply these two numbers and write it up here. 2 times 3 is 6. Whoops, I meant to do that back in green. Okay, and then we're going to add those. 0 and 6 is 6, and continue with the same process. 2 times 6 is 12. Negative 2 plus 12 is 10. 2 times 10 is 20. 5 plus 20 is 25. 2 plus 25 is 50. And negative 4 plus 50 would be 46. Now that last number, that's going to be our remainder. The other numbers, the 3, 6, 10, and 25, those are going to be coefficients uh, on the terms of our answer. Now, since I started with a power of 4, once I divide uh, by a power of 1, basically, we're dividing by x to the 1, x to the 4th divided by x to the 1 would be x cubed. And so my answer needs to be um, a cubic polynomial. So I'm going to have 3x cubed plus 6x squared, plus 10x, plus 25, plus the remainder, which is 46, over x minus 2, since that's what we were dividing by. Let's look at one more of these. Now notice again, when you're writing down your um, the number over here in the box, we want whatever number makes uh, the, the binomial equal to zero. In this case, that would be negative one. And then when we write our coefficients, we need to make sure that we account for every power of x. So I'm starting with six, x to the fifth. Uh, there's no x to the fourth term, so I'm going to put a zero. Negative four x to the third. There's no x squared term, so I'm going to put a zero. Uh, the x has a coefficient of one, and then the constant term is negative four. And now we're going to follow the same process uh, that we did before. I'm going to add down 6 plus nothing is 6. And then we're going to multiply these numbers and write it up here. Negative 1 times 6 is negative 6. 0 plus negative 6 is negative 6. Negative 1 times negative 6 is 6. Negative 4 plus 6 is 2. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. 0 plus negative 2 is negative 2. Negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. And negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Negative 4 plus negative 3 is negative 7, which will be our remainder. Now, since I started with a power of 5, that means that my answer uh, should be a power of 4. We should reduce the power by 1. So I'm going to get 6x to the 4th minus 6x cubed plus 2x squared minus 2x plus 3 minus 7 over x plus 1. All right, let's move on to 52 and 53. In these two questions, uh, we're being asked to do uh, some operations with rational functions. In number 52, um, we've got two rational expressions that we need to add together. 
So basically we're adding fractions and whenever we do that we need to get a common denominator. My common denominator here is going to be x minus 1 times x plus 3. And in order to get that denominator in my first expression I need to multiply times x plus 3 over x plus 3. So I'm going to get x plus 3 times 5x plus 2 plus and then to get that denominator for my other fraction I need to multiply top and bottom by x minus 1. So I'm going to have plus 4 times x minus 1. Alright, so now um, I need to multiply this out. Uh, so if I multiply x times 5x, I get 5x squared. x times 2 is plus 2x. 3 times 5x is 15x. And 3 times 2 is 6. And now I'm going to distribute the 4. Plus 4 times x is 4x. Minus 4 times 1 is 4. Over and no need to multiply out the denominator. The reason we multiply out the numerator is because we're going to have like terms that we can collect together. And so if I collect like terms, let's see, 5x squared, that's my only x squared term, so 5x squared. Um, but now I've got 2x plus 15x, which would be 17x, plus 4x gives me 21x, and then 6 minus 4 would be plus 2 over x minus 1 times x plus 3. And that would be uh, the sum of those two rational expressions. Number 53. In this one, uh, we've got two rational expressions and we're being asked to divide. Now remember, when you're dividing fractions, you should multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to keep my first rational expression the same x minus 2 over x plus 2, but I'm going to change my division to multiply, and then I'm going to write the reciprocal of my second rational expression. Okay, now uh, some of you at this point might be tempted to multiply this out, but we don't want to multiply everything out. It's usually a better strategy to factor first and see if we can make things simpler. So x minus 2 and x plus 2, neither one of those factor, but I'm going to put those in parentheses. x plus 3 doesn't factor, but x squared plus 5x plus 6 factors. That's going to be x and x, 2 and 3, and they're both positive. So now notice that I've got an x plus 2 in the numerator and the denominator, so I'm going to cancel those out. I also have an x plus 3 in the numerator and the denominator, and if I cancel those out, then I end up with an answer of x minus 2.